Kansas City has the only museum in the United States dedicated to World War I, the Great War, and hosts the largest collection of war artifacts outside of Great Britain. Before there was this incredible museum, there's a really special story to talk about the monument built outside. Mm -hmm. I'm so impressed how quickly they raised the funds back in 1920. Back in 1920, they raised $2.5 million wow. in 10 days. The memorial's been watching over the city for the last almost 100 years or so. This is relatively yes. new. We actually have a collection that is the second oldest um, in, in the world. We started collecting in 1920, so they had a lot to work with. And we start re right here on the timeline with uh, the, the same make and model of gun that was used to assassinate Franz Ferdinand on June 28th. One thing that sticks out to me is Hindenburg's uniform. Oh, it's fantastic. It's one of those treats that you get in the museum world where all of a sudden the phone just rings and our senior curator picked it up and the fellow said, you know, I think, I think I've got something that you'd like. A, a coat. A coat. A, a coat. Oh, well, it happened to be Hindenburg's coat. And our senior curator said, I'll be there in four hours. Just let me get in my car. <laughs> nice. Okay, so it's 1917, mm -hmm. and the U.S. is kind of doing it. We're kind of doing our own thing. The rest of the world's not really been thinking about the U.S. The German guy said, U.S., they're nothing. They've already made all their artillery for France and England. They're not good. Nobody right. thought anything of the U.S. at this point. There are a variety of different ways that we actually ended up getting into the war. You already mentioned one of them, which is that we provided a lot of the goods needed um, for, for the war effort. You would want to be a, a, a fairly thin farm boy um, to be in that tank, and you can see the doors right there, so it's actually a really tight fit. You'd feel a little bit like a, a, like a sardine. So when you describe this museum to people outside of Kansas City... It's a little bit of a forgotten war, sometimes here in the United States. Uh, but this museum tells the whole story and it becomes vibrant. The borders of Iraq um, come about because of the First World War. Uh, votes for women come about in part because of the First World War. It really changes everything. 